Hi, it's Professor Adam. Let's talk about the common ion effect. The common ion effect is a mass action effect that originates from Le Chatelier's principle, as it is caused by the response of a system at equilibrium to changes in that equilibrium. For a detailed explanation, check out the Le Chatelier's principle video. If there is an equilibrium like so, an increase in the concentration of A or B or a decrease in the concentration of C will cause the equilibrium to shift to the right. Conversely, if the concentrations of A or B are decreased, or the concentration of C is increased, the equilibrium will shift to the left. This is a short summary of Le Chatelier's principle. Specifically for the common ion effect, this means that if a solution has a dissolved salt, and a new salt containing one of the same ions as the original solution is added, then the solubility of the salts will change. To understand how the common ion effect works, first let's calculate the concentration of the sparingly soluble salt barium iodate in pure water. First, write a balanced equation for the reaction which gives us the solubility product expression for the dissolution process. Using the balanced equation, we can write the solubility product expression in terms of only one ion, barium 2 plus here. Doing some rearrangement gives a value for the saturation concentration of barium, and since the concentration of the barium cation is the same as the salt concentration, the solubility will be the same. This is because all of the sparingly soluble salt is assumed to be dissociated. Now we can look at the molar solubility of barium in the presence of two different anions. Because we have two barium salts of differing solubilities, the solubility of barium iodate is no longer equal to the barium 2 plus ion concentration, and so the iodate ion concentration must be used. Because of this, the barium cation concentration will be equal to 0.02 from the nitrate salt plus a half of the concentration of iodate anion as an indicator of the molar solubility of the iodate salt in this solution. This can then be substituted into the solubility constant expression for the iodate salt, which gives a cubic equation. Because the concentration from the iodate salt is expected to be small, an approximation that it will have a negligible effect on the solubility of the barium iodate means that this cubic equation can be simplified. The simplified equation can be used to work out the iodate concentration and therefore the barium iodate solubility, which is now much lower due to the presence of the common ion from the barium nitrate. How about the case where the salt of concern is formed from the mixing of two different salts, in this case sodium iodate and barium nitrate? The first step is to calculate if there is an excess of either reactant at equilibrium. Assuming complete formation of barium iodate, then the excess sodium iodate will be 6 millimoles. The concentration of iodate is then 0.02 moles per liter. Iodate concentration can then be calculated, but since the barium iodate concentration is expected to be low, the iodate concentration from the barium iodate can be considered to be negligible. A provisional solubility can then be determined using this approximation, and since the value is some four orders of magnitude lower than 0.02 molar, then the assumption can be considered valid. Let's check comprehension. 